Yeah, tignan natin kung makakabawi si Roxy dito sa set number 2. And the huge factor during the first set for the Mapua Lady Carnidals was their errors. Ang dami talagang errors. So, that w that was an error. An error is an easy point para sa ating Lady Chief. So, bawasan na yung errors, mag-adjust. And for the Aureliano, just keep on um, going. And ito ba yung game na to? Tinanong ko kay Anton, ito ba yung unang five sets? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to find out. Uh, wala pa tayo five setters so far. We've had um, three four setters. The rest have been straight set wins. Back set. Rica Blanca. Gets the point for Mabua. Yung bola talaga ni Raisa Rica Blanca. Yung parang niya ang bilis bumagsak. Kasi sobrang ganda ng contact niya sa bola. And yung spin niya. And kanina pa yan, even yung backline attacks niya, ganun din. Kaya medyo nahirapan um, yung depensa ng Lady, Lady Chief sa mga spikes ni Raisa. Error by Trixie Kohala from the service line. They really should lessen their errors during um, the second set because it's a do or die for them. Eh. If uh -huh. if our la lady chiefs will get this game, medyo may hirapan na sila. Ten errors is just too much. Yes, that's almost half of the set, Anton. Tutlasan breaks down the wall, and you can see slowly Tutlasan is returning to form. Hindi pa 100% to eh. Pero may power na. May power pa rin. The set was a little bit uh, far from the net. Pero grabe. Dahil sobrang bigat ng spike niya. Merong power talaga yung spike niya. It really goes through the block. Ong. Garcia. Another error for Mapua. The set was a bit low, so she was unable to. Nanggigil pa siya kahit mababa yung set kaya nandem yung bola. Now it's Garcia who gets subbed out. Berses returns. Paradejas with a service error. Nads Berses starts this rally. De Guzman. De La Cruz. Back set. De Guzman off the block. Great coverage there for both teams. And nakita ni Dede Guzman, sobrang sarado. So ang ginawa niya is pinalo niya lang yung bola sa kamay ng blockers para maging out. Yun yung mga smart na spikers, Anton. Pag nakikita mo wala na, magpataanan yung bola mo, papalo na lang ng malakas yan para mag-out. Si Laika Tudlasa natatawa sa sarili niya. Pasok pala yun. <laughs> Di niya in-expect. Because the ball was went kind of wide. Yeah. Tapos bigla na lang bumagsak sa harap ni Coach Aying. At ayan na na. <laughs> Another high risk and high reward. I think that's the second error yeah. from the service line for Laika. Villa Flores, blockers were there. De Guzman. And she gets the point for Arellano. Nakita ni De Guzman na open yung down the line eh. Grabe, kala mo cross court niya dadalhin pero biglang pumihit. You know, 
curveballs ang ninipis. Kaya lumulusot talaga sa mga blockers, Anton. Another one. Ang nipis talaga. Galing. And ang tagal ng hang time niya sa Eric, kaya napupwesto na yung bola down the line after that cross court. You know, at the rate Arellano is going, but if Dan can just rest the rest of the way, kung uh, magpapatuloy, itong magandang pinapakita ng Arellano. And usually, di ba, Anton, pag sa game, like, um, pag yung captain ball or some, like, one of the key players may nangyaring masama, madadown yung team, but this is a different case for the Lady Cheese. Parang lalo silang ginanahan na, oh, we need to step up because our captain is not here inside the court. And I think that's what's happening right now. Arellano just playing inspired volleyball as we head to this technical timeout. Arellano Faustino will have an update for us when we return. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaba. Density is at an all-time high here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Now, Anton and Melissa, if there is one thing that the first game of these two teams proved, it's that old and new heroes will always show up and deliver the goods. Now, one of the players for the Arellano Lady Chiefs that has stepped up against their game against Letran is middle blocker Robbie Matawara. Nang makausap ko si Robbie, sabi niya, importante ang pagkakaroon ng usong palaban as a chief. No matter how hard the situation is, they can fight it all. Paalala nga lagi sa kanila ni Coach Obet. Kung sino ang mas matapang at gustong manalo, ay siya talaga ang mananalo. So they ought to show everyone what they've got and not let their emotions control the game. Meanwhile, for middle blocker turned open hitter and now opposite spiker, Lady Cardinal Raisa Rito Blanca embodies Coach Ayeng's words, Raisa, kailangan ka ng team in every game she plays. Despite being overwhelmed in her first game, Raisa's 13-point performance and genuine joy to play in the NCAA only fuels her to be more consistent. Iba talaga ang energy and atmosphere dito sa NCAA. So let's see how these players make some noise in this game. Anton and Melissa? Grabe pala, no? Pangatlong position for Raisa Rica Blanca. You know, Anton, I highly respect players who can easily adjust from one position to the other. Kasi yung iba, whenever you ask them, how do you adjust? Yung iba, you answer nila. Nahihirapan sila. But you see, Rica Blanca is doing great um, as an opposite player. And Rica Blanca had nine points in that opening set alone. And Roxanne De La Cruz is finally getting her groove. She had a nice powerful spike earlier and now she gets a service ace. De La Cruz had 22 service aces in season 98. So that is also one of her strengths. Villa Flores breaks the tie. That was a soft spike there in the middle and a little bit of miscommunication between De La Vero and De La Cruz. Rediano holding on to a one-point advantage. Gohol on the second touch. Paralejas to Tudlasan. De La Cruz was there. Berses. What a coverage there. Good effort by Mapua. Oh! Dona Paralejas. Nobody was ready for it. to talk about Donna Paralejas. Grabe kanina, meron siyang one-two play. And hindi siya yung spike na, na soft spike lang ha. Like, tuldok yung spike niya kanina. But nakuha ng kabila. Pero, what a spike there. And 
kapag ganyan na, pag nagpapalita na yung bola, biglang din rap. What a smart move there. And no one was there. The Lady Cardinals didn't see that coming. One point lead for Arellano as Papiera heads to the service nine. Kagikla, Tudlasan, Gohol, Alian Ong, Paralejas, not that time. Gabi ato no, and daming spikers, pati yung setter din ng ating Lady Chiefs, spiker din. Yeah, but this uh, Letran, si Nat Estrelier. Yes. She, she can also spike that volleyball as we see. Tudlasan trying to go down the line. Free ball, mapupunta sa Arellano. Paralejas, back to Laika. Drop ball, Gohol. Versus her version of a drop ball. Paralejas again. Paralejas giving Arellano this one point advantage. Sharp serve. How about that? Robbie Matawaran. Talagang pinap pinag practice talaga ng ating Lady Chiefs ang kanilang service. Mikita mo ang dami nilang points from their service aces. Gohol to Berses. Namatuwa rin ako. Berses coming in for Garcia in the first set. She came in for Roxy De La Cruz and she's contributing para sa Matua. And she also had a, a service ace pagpasok niya pa lang. Yun yung nakakatuwa pag walang takot yung mga rookies. Versus. Tuloy pa rin ang rally. Laika wants it. She gets it. Kaya lang, masyadong malayo yung set. That was the Sanet. Says she's not the you know powerful player, but she's a consistent player. Like kahit na ang galing niya mag-adjust, kahit dikit sa net yung kanina ng yare na na over pa rin sa net. She's a she's a player na na parang magic bunot na tinatawag nila. Still serving for Mapua. Takes the goal. Mapua has quietly overtaken Arellano here in this second set. Paralejas to Tudlasan. Oh, Tudlasan gets roof. Solid block. Let's take a look at it again. What a match Rica Blanca has played. Double digits already yes. for her. And it's just the start of the second set. At kita natin sa replay, alam niyang malakas pumalo si Tudlasan, kaya napapikit eh si Rica Blanca, but still got the block. De La Cruz, Rica Blanca. What a connection there from De La Cruz and Rica Blanca. Ang layo kanina ni Roxy, ha? Ah? At kaya nagbago na yung demeanor ng Lady Cardinals. They're now smiling, they're now enjoying themselves. And communicating. In the first set, they seemed a little bit lost and shaken. Mayon buhay na. And Dodi Batindaan, Melissa, is back in the game for Arellano. Nakita natin si Dodi Batindaan kanina. Habang hana, parang gusong gusto ng pumasok eh. Pero napansin ko, ah, nakabalot na yung uh, left knee niya. And obviously, she has to keep moving that left ankle also kasi yun yung, yun yung na-twist eh. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh! Wala na namang uh, pumulot dun sa bola. Bola para Lejas again, finding the open spot in the middle. This time from the service line. This game is mostly sa Lady Cardinals. Medyo madaming miscommunication andon. Ang dami nilang tinginan sa bola. Na, oh, sino ba kukuha? Ang dami ganong instances sa game na ito. And Cody Patindan gets a point and ties the match up at 15. It's telling the the Lady Cardinals, oh, I'm back. I'm back, guys. <laughs> and that's a real team captain. Na kahit anong sakit yan, ilalaban ko to. Back in a big way for the ladies in gray. Free ball for Mapua. This is crucial right here. Gohol to Aliana Ong. Now Aureliano can turn the tide. Batindaan. De La Cruz was there. Here's the toss. Berses. Paralejas to Laika to Lassen. Check out. Grabe. And Laika to Lassen puts Aureliano on top 16 to 15. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. A tight second set we are witnessing right here at Anyana University after a Laika Tudlasan spike. Gives her team the lead, Sir Peter Kaiko enjoying what his student athletes are showing today. Simula pa lang ng season eh, everybody was wondering, oh bakit nasa reserve si Laika Tudlasan? So yung pala may back injury, but she's looking good now in the second match. Father Vic Calvo, Mancom representative of Letran on your screens. Gohol to Berses. And the chairman of the volleyball tournament, Mancom rep of Perpetual Sir Frank Goosey. Para lejas. Ang nipis ng down the line. Lead is back with Arendiano. Our commissioner, Dr. Robert Milton Calo. That's the third service error for Laika Tudlasan. <laughs> this is a crucial juncture in this match. 17 all. More important for Mapua that they take this set. The Guzman. Paralejas back set. Good coverage there. Oh, wow. Pumasok sa loob ng antenna. Rica Blanca keeping the ball in play. That will not work for Villa Flores. She, she tried to put it sa cross court sa front line, but it was not successful. Tsaka medyo mababa din yung set eh. Batindaan gets that one in. Wow. Alam mo yung pasok niya, yung may intention talaga eh. An ankle injury can't stop Dodi Batindaan. That's a leader for you. Gohol, Patong, De La Cruz gets the point.
combination play there and ibabaw si Roxy De La Cruz sa mga blockers. Vinya Blanca, Paranejas, back set. De Guzman, Bas Bas with a save. And it's her favorite spot. Is this the fourth? Yeah. Okay, the fourth point already from the back line. What a game this game for Raisa Rica Blanca and Todd. Totoo yung sinabi ni Coach na sa sobrang gigil nila na depensahan, doon pa sila hindi makagalaw kasi hindi sila relax. Kaya pag sa depensa talaga, dapat relax ha, and you just you keep on moving kasi medyo easy ball din yung kanina eh. Napasigaw tuloy si Coach. <laughs> Paralejas. This is still playable. Tudlasan was there. Villa Flores. Hart Villa Flores has been stepping up for the Lady Chiefs. She did not start during their first game and she started during the end of the game lang. But nikita mo sa game na ito, grabe. Her down the lines, long cross courts has been given, has been giving their team points, Anton. Hey, one player that we also didn't see but has come on for the first time, Moming Padillon. Yes. Padillon averaged 12.8 points per match in the elimination round last season for AU, and now she's on the floor. And Casey Adante, who has been playing the backup center position, is in as well for Arellano. Let's see kung magbabago ang ihip ng hangin dito. I think the move of, of switching Hart Villa Flores kay Moni Padillon sa, sa front line is because they need blocking. They need the tall spiker. Kasi nandun si Rica Blanca. Kailangan talaga nila ng tall spiker sa outside. Oh no. Makua. Their first ball disappearing as Casey Adante gets the ace. And now Coach Ayeng rings the alarm. Coach Aying is was telling his players na don't give points easily. Ang bilis lang yun, yung misreceive, yung mga errors, ang bilis ibigay. And nasa crucial moment na sila. And paluin nila ng bola, they need more power pagdating sa kanilang offense. De La Cruz, oh, she was underneath the ball on that spike. Oh, it all goes back to that timeout of Coach Obet Javier, that fiery timeout. Nagising, nagrespond yung kanya mga players. That's also a risk if you change your setter, yung 4 6 na switching. Kasi mag iiba yung set. De La Cruz. Oh! Another miscommunication there. And what a block right there, an emphatic block by Robbie Matawaran.
Casey Adante. Another one. What an impact by Casey Adante getting an ace moments ago, and now this. A surprise drop ball that nobody was ready for. That was a Chisaet move. Yep. Classic. Roxy De La Cruz has to turn into Super Roxy right now, or Mapua will be in big, big trouble. Can they close the set? Yes, they can! What a comeback by Arellano in this set. Quick play there, and no one was there. Ganun talaga pag, pag gitna yung palo, mapasok lahat ng depensa. And it's really, it was really a smart move. And Arellano now, leads Mapua two sets to none. The Lady Cardinals are on the ropes. We will be back for set number three.